Hey, good people. It's your girl, Christina, here again with another video. It's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, for those who watch my videos, they know that. It's been like over a year and so much has transpired in my life. I'm not even going to hold you. However, I'm not going to get into that in this video. I did want to come and talk. I made a video the other day that I never posted because I was really, really in my feelings at the same time. So I was extremely passionate on the video. So I decided to just redo the video. I'm a lot, I'm still, uh, I'm still bothered in my soul about it, but I just wanted to come a little bit more calmer than the video that y'all didn't see. <laughs> so I wanted to come and talk about the killings that's going on in the city not just in dc but just Korea. but since i'm a washingtonian it, it's really talking to the district of columbia area it 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 saddens my heart like it ruffles my feathers it irritates my soul to have to to see every single day that somebody has to bury their child while another child goes to prison i told my son i said that this age, that age range between 13 and 18, it's like they're gonna be extinct in a minute. Like it's just gonna be little kids and people in their 40s and up. Like because it's, 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 it's every morning I wake up, turn on the news, it's like another 14 year old got killed, another 15 year old got killed, another 16 year old going to jail, another 17 year old that killed a few people in the neighborhood. It's just it, it's senseless. It's, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. However, I wanted to come to uh, discuss, per se, um, because I see, a, like, when, when, it ha when this happens, I see a lot of people pose, this killing has to stop. You know, uh, they got to stop killing our babies, and the mayor this, and the mayor that, and the police think this, and the police think that. That's the part that I wanted to come and talk, kind of highlight on. And, and and even speak on the death of these children. And I want to make it quick because I don't want to be here to like talk too long because I'll be gone. However, I want to start with the first. Uh, I want to start with the mayor fire first. I seen more than too many. Um, the mayor needs to do this and the mayor needs to do that. It's not the mayor's job to raise our children. I'm going to say it again. It's not the mayor's job to raise and protect our children to an extent, right? We have children. A lot of us have our children young. A lot of us teach our children F the police, F 12. A lot of us teach our children gang gang. A lot of us teach our children all this street stuff because this is what we was doing and what we was taught just because we survived, but a lot of us didn't. And a lot of us really didn't survive because some people aged out and some people didn't make it out mentally. And some people still in bondage by a lot of stuff that we was doing and got done to them or have done from the streets. But yet we turn around and have children. We give birth to all these little kids and then we don't pull nothing productive in them. At two years old, I watched a girl just recently, it, well, it, a few weeks ago, a woman told me her one-year-old son is her best friend. Her one-year-old son is her best friend. Then I'm like, you know, just strolling through social media and I see other women who does this. And then I'm like, did I miss this part? This one girl, she was like me and my bestie. And the photos was her and her six-year-old daughter. And her six-year-old daughter, look, she, I, 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 I have been doing my own hair forever. So I think I know, like, we, when I see it, you know, some people get some really good hair. So it's like, is that, I'm like, do this little girl have extensions in her hair? Like, that young, I seen another little, little girl in kindergarten. Got a whole full sack. And I'm like, okay, so if we if we, we we start them off like this. We start them off, we put little guns in the kids' hands, the little boys' hands, having them throwing up gang gang signs and all that, right? That we doing this to them when they five. So now they like eight. Then it's still cool. And now the little girl, she's 12. Now she's feeling herself because when she was seven, she when I said when she was like three, you was treating her like she was 21. So now she's 13 and she's acting like she's 45. 
You know, then it's like, what's wrong with her? These kids, this and these kids that I guess I will be saying this until the end of my time. These children are not born this way. You give birth to these children. We give birth to these children. It's all on how we are, what we teaching them. We are in the environment. If you growing up in the hood and you know you didn't like the hood, but you just got complacent. You like, okay, yeah, whatever. I, I've been getting by, so it's working. Until you get a call that your child has took somebody's life. Until you get a call that you got to come identify your child. At what point, when is it going to take for something to click and be like, maybe this ain't it. Me teaching them how to be gang gang and teaching how to be a gangster and a thug and my son F12 and F this and we teaching them how to live by the street rules but nobody is telling them the street is only going to send you to hell or jail. You know how many people that didn't make it because they was living by those laws? Living by the code and then you teaching your children how to live by the code? I watched the video uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Two videos. Same scenario. These young guys, they look no more than 13 or 18-ish. Break into a, a, a business, steal the ATM machine. This is this is the problem right here. I'm looking at the video. I'm like, they have to take this to somebody's house. They got to take it to somebody's house. So they don't look old enough to have nothing least in their name or be a homeowner to me. I'm just saying. So, where's the adult when your child, your son, come in the house with his homeboys with a whole ATM machine? That's the problem. It's not the mayor. Is it some things the mayor is supposed to do as the mayor as far as the city? Yes. Well, not, they're not that. I would love to one on her, one on her, one on one with her with these got dang on tickets. But that's another story. I'm just like, that's the problem with... You you cool with your child walking in the door with an ATM machine with his homeboys. Then I'm watching on YouTube, me and my son just strolling watching stuff. You got so many youngins making videos with all these uh, extra extended clip Dracos and all this stuff in somebody's house. And I'm like, okay, this is somebody's adult house. Why is this cool? Like, why is this cool? My son is a whole grown man. My son is about to be almost 30 years old, good people. I last year, was it last year? I think it was last year. I'm strolling through Instagram. Keep in mind, he almost 30. I'm strolling through Instagram. And I see a video of my son. He's rocking in somebody's home. It's guns everywhere. When I tell you, I went from zero to a thousand real quick. The second his rap career began, the same moment it ended. I'm not supporting that. I'm not condoning that. I ain't with that because I've been through enough to know that that leads to dead jail or hell. You Somebody even going to kill my son out of hating or he going to end up doing something that these lyrics are enticing him to do. Not on my watch. All that mom grown, yeah, you are, brother. But it's obvious you ain't making grown-up decisions right. So that's when the mother kicks in. The adult kicks in. Nah, we not doing that, brother. That ain't happening. I'm not about to sit back and watch you self-destruct in that life. That's not, that's not going to happen. But that's the part that's missing. We got all these dudes out here having babies by these girls that they keep calling anything, but you having all these babies by them and you leaving these women to raise these children all by themselves. This is the problem. These kids out here, they have so much freedom. They have so much leeway. They got so much. They You treat, treat them like they grown. Like they're grown. They're six. You have a six-year-old that's your best friend. My two children are grown and they still ain't my bestie. Because it's stuff that I share with my best friend that I would not share with my child. It's things that I do, have done, that I would not express to my adult daughter. I'm her mama. I'm not her best friend. It doesn't make sense. You, If that was the case, why would it be lying and lying for a mother, you know, father, mother, child? Then it should have been father, mother, best friend. Like, that's your child. You can have a healthy Fulfill productive relationship. But a six-year-old being your friend is insane to me. A six-year-old, a three-year-old, 
A three-year-old is not even qualified to be put in school yet. If your best friend go to daycare, your best friend can't even go in the store and purchase anything because they can't reach the counter. You treat them like they your home. I watch people sit up and smoke and drink with their children. Like, I'm like, your child is seven. Girl, I'd rather for them to do it here. Wait a minute, what? This child not even old enough to buy it. And you cool with it? You cool with it? You got a room full of young little Thundercats in your house and you don't check on nothing? But then in the next hour, they come running back in there hiding and stashing stuff. And you like, no, I'm going down for mine. I'm going to always have my son back. Having his back is not enabling him. You are his biggest hindrance if that's the type of mindset you have. That you're teaching him you're o you are okay in bad behavior. You tell the meds, these police don't care about these kids. I just watched three videos in one week on how these, these kids was out here trying to fight the D.C. police. I'm looking at it. I'm like, what in the world? F-12, get off our block, but soon something go wrong. Aren't you dialing 911? I'm like, make this make sense. Make it make sense. If you 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 raising these ch these children to be like this, and it's causing them their life. It's causing them their life. No, I'm I don't I'm like I, I have been around people. Lord have mercy. I ha I'm still working on this good people. I'm working, I'm learning how to shut. I'm trying to Christina mind yours. Because if I'm sitting in your home, you your son come in with a hundred kids, a hundred dudes, and you can see the guns. I'm looking at you like, this what we doing in? Like, girl, girl, that boy is out of control. Out of control, he's 15. He's 15. Girl, he don't listen to nobody. He's 15. What you mean? Like, so four dudes can just come in your house with him and it's a school day, it's a school hour. This this is what we doing? I'm like, honey, please, let me tell you, I dropped the ball in plenty of areas in my, my life as a mama. I got videos that, that I done confess and I probably always will. I have no problem with that because I ain't the mother I used to be. But one thing for certain, two things for sure, I'm still big on respect. If When my son used to hook class, oh, you and I get to class? He, he was in high school. Oh, you and I go to class? Well, let me leave my job to come and show you. So I'm in his class with him every day until you get it right. Ain't no, he can do what he want to do. You a child. You are a child. Oh, you don't like my rules? Well, don't worry. At 18, I'll set you free. Ask my daughter. At 18, I'll set you free. But until then, you won't have to struggle with me, Sean. You, We not doing all that. You a, you a child. I'm your mother. Ain't no, uh, we not doing it. And that's what's missing. Everybody is every they kid's best friend. You, 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 your house is a trap house. But then when authorities come in and now you got to get moved out, now it's let me tweet about how to mess up. It was not the man's fault that you okayed your 14 year old to trap your house out because you was getting some cut out of it or whatever it is for you. But it wasn't okay. It was okay then. But when it goes left, it's the mayor's fault. It's the mayor's fault. You got to start taking some accountability. And that requires a lot of growing up. A woman told me, I met a woman recently on some other stuff. This woman has a daughter who has a child. She said, my daughter, she was like, girl, uh, she was, you know, just uh, talking to me about the situation. And she was like, this girl thinks she's grown because she has a child. I told her, you're not grown. You're just a mother. And I was like, girl, that part. That part. I was like, wow, that, that part. You're not grown. You're just a mother. Because her daughter is 16. But now she, because she's a, she has a baby, she feel like she should be able to smoke in the house and bring dudes in the house. And she's like, not in my house. If you that grown, then move out. But her daughter ain't grown enough. I ain't ready yet. But you, you what? What you mean you ain't ready yet? But then you better adjust to some rules up in here. And that's what's missing. And then so her homegirl, she tells me that her homegirl feel like, oh, she doing too much. Because she's wanting to keep structure in her home between her and her child and the way she run her house. I was like, girl, you not doing too much. Because if you let that girl sit in there and smoke weed all day, and you let this girl not just sit in your, under your house and do all these things, she gonna end up with a 
another baby and another baby. And then she going to probably want to be lazy and just figure, figure, shoot, I've been smoking for eight years doing nothing. I might as well. No, you doing the right thing. Like, she's, you have to go to school. I don't feel like it. I've been up with the baby all night. Choices that we made when we, things that happens when we make choices, it's consequences. And if you have children, and if you raising them to be little Thundercats, and you may not see it that way, if this is the way that you can see the what's going on and how you raising him right now, think about the outcome. If you don't like it, then something has to change. Something needs to give. The way that you allowing your teenage child to run your house, what is the outcome of that? What is the consequences to that? If you can't see it, because some people are so in denial and some people really not aware. And I say that because the environment they grew up in is, is similar, identical to what they're doing right now. That's why they're doing it. It was okay to lay around the house and smoke and drink all day. My mama did it. My grandmama did it. So it's cool. But it's not because these children are dying daily. 15 years old, killing another 15 year old. They have no respect for authority. None for teachers. None for their own parents. None for, just none. They don't have no respect. Watch the news, how they beat that woman on the bus. But you know what? I say, Lord have mercy. These little kids, and when they run into, they run into the wrong one, then you, then you be on the news. That was my son. The, the, the same son that you didn't teach to be respectful to nobody. This woman had told them to stop cursing. She was putting something in there. She was dropping something. Else. You don't have to speak like that. Don't talk like that. And because we, we've been so programmed to what is wrong is right. And what is right is wrong. They jumped this lady. A whole lady. And not one of them felt that it was wrong. Not one of them, my son couldn't even watch the whole video. I couldn't even for real because I was getting angry. I was getting angry. I would start taking my thoughts back to when I was in the street and been like, boy, if them little Thundercats would have, ooh, if that was my mama, it would have been some trouble in the city. I, it would have been, I would have been, you know what, forget the self-discipline, forget all that. I have outcome because these little dudes need a, they need a lesson. But I mean, for real, that was just, just the snippet I saw, it made me angry. I'm like, what's wrong with these kids are the people that's raising these kids. Everybody wants to be their friend. Oh, this is my little uh, hitter right here. You calling your three-year-old a hitter? You know what a hitter is? Then when he grow up and take somebody's life, now you feeling like, oh my God, I'm, you trying to justify. You been t telling him he was a hitter since he was three. These little girls look so growner than me, honey. They be more glam than I am. And I'm a grown whole woman. I be looking at these kids like, she's six? Why you got weave in her head? Girl, her hair ain't thick enough for me, for you. All these pedophiles out here, you got your daughter on here twerk. Like, I have seen more twerk videos from children. It saddens my soul. I'm like, so we just going to entice the pedophiles. That's what we doing. We just going to entice some little kids dressed like Back, I watched coming back from uh, North Carolina. Uh, what's it doing? The summer we went down there. Coming back from North Carolina, we stopped and I needed some water. I stopped at a family dollar to get um, uh, what's it? The one of them? Yeah, I think it was a family dollar to get one of the uh, water jug things because I had got a cup of ice. And I'm in the store and it's a little girl. She's no more than six. She had on a body con dress, thighs out, everything, colorful braids coming down her back. This little girl was built like an adult. I'm looking around like, where's her mama? Because she's just strolling through the store. All these men in here. I'm like, where? And, and that's the part. That's why I say I'm still trying to work. Because I, I, I find myself getting into stuff. Because I be concerned. Like, <laughs> but I do have to mind my business on some situations. I really, really do. However, I'm like, I'm like, where's her mama? You know what I'm saying? So she in line on the phone chewing gum just waiting. I'm like. So the little girl walks up. I was like, sweetheart, you got to be careful. Like, it's people out here that's looking for opportunities. I tell my son and uh, daughter all the time, you don't give a thief an opportunity to steal. You think they just woke up and say on Tuesday, I'm going to steal. If they're a thief, if they see an opportunity, they're going to steal. You don't give a pedophile an opportunity to try to a, a kidnap an opportunity to try to kidnap your child. They could just be minding their business, but they see an opportunity. they like, shoot. I'm a pervert. I mean, it's what they do. 
And I'm like, she dressed like her mama. Her mother got on the same dress, long braids. The, the little girl had colorful braids. She's no more than six. I'm coming out the store. We coming out the same. She she came out before me, so I came out like right behind her. And I'm I'm like I'm just just watching this. I was so behooved. I was so like, really. You got your daughter looking like a whole Instagram girl, like. So when she turned thirteen, I only can imagine. I only can imagine. But we gotta do. We gotta do better. It, it, it's it's up to the community. It's up to the people that raise our children. It's not the mayor's job to raise our children. It's really not. We go. We blame everybody but ourselves. Everybody but ourselves. It's their fault. It's his fault. It's her fault. Excuse me. Is this? It's her fault. It's her fault. It's her fault. It's his fault. It's everybody's fault. It's my baby daddy's fault. It's this. And that. Yeah, these dudes need to really be there for their kids. Like real talk, but I'm gonna be on some real stuff. Some of them really don't, cause some of them ain't got nothing good to get your child, honey. And some of these dudes are perverts. So trust me, you may be better that they ain't around your child. Seriously, like seriously, for real. Some of these baby fathers, it, you you should just be thanking God. You know, I'm I'm glad that you are providing and able to provide for me to provide for my child, and thank you for protecting my child from things that. I wouldn't even want to be. Because some of your baby fathers, I'm saying, they perverts. They pat a little pat a child molesters. I'm saying. I'm just saying. So, that could be a blessing in disguise. You just don't even know it. But anyway, it's just sad that these children have to uh, live a life like this. You know, I've watched so many videos on YouTube and, uh they pulling up, just shooting out into a crowd of kids. The little boy got shot on the porch. You're like, like, oh my goodness gracious. These children are going home to somebody. And if you in the house and you hear these things and, and you cool with that, man, what type of person are you? Oh my goodness. This is your child for crying out loud. Your child. This is the, your child. You that high that you that numb that you don't give to you don't know what? Come on, man. These, these are our children we talking about. If you don't want it to get, get it together for yourself, at least do it for these kids. They deserve it. They did not ask for you to hump your baby daddy. They did not ask for this. You think that, and I tell people, they think I'll just be condoning these children's behavior. I don't. I understand. I'm not a would it just look, oh, like, I, I'm a more of a what's in the surface. Like, how did it get here? How did it get, I see what they doing and I don't condone it. But I know these youngins did not come out of kindergarten, standing up at, at the graduation saying, when I grow older, I want to be dipped out, doped out, pop pills all day, curry Dracos, and kill other people. I don't think nobody said that. This ain't LA. Like in LA, they got gang and real heavy over there. So I can see, you know, my big brother in the gang, my uncle in the gang, and da, 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 da. you know, so they may be enticed to be that because it's super heavy over there. But that's not the case over here. Come on, man. This is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And then anybody who try to pull anything productive into them, they've been taught that that is wrong. Oh, you trying to make me soft? I ain't no sucker. I ain't know this. I ain't know that. First of all, you don't even know what you are. You don't know what you are. But your mother or your father is allowing you to make all these grown-up decisions as a child. She's a freaking kid. No, you can't make no grown-up decision. But that's what we have come to. I know a woman whose son was running a house and he was 12. 12 running her house. I'm like, oh my God. This woman calls me. I goes over there. I'm like, so what is it that you want me to do again? Girl, I just don't know. He's just out of control. I wonder where you get it from. At some part, some point, somewhere, we just let go. People just, just, I don't know, man. I really think this whole way of thinking, the way we thinking the things out, the way we displaying stuff to these children is not cool it's not cool and it shouldn't have to you, you shouldn't have to wait until you get a call to go identify your child you condone in this behavior these are our children for crying out loud 
our children. These are not the mayor's children. These are not the police children. A police officer just got in trouble for uh, not reporting the guns that he was getting off of children in the streets in, in uh, Southeast. He did not report it, so he's, he's going to get in trouble for it, right? So all police ain't bad police because your son could have caught a felony. Your son could have been in prison with the real niggas, with the real killers, with the real, you know, the real ones, the real ones. You don't want that for your son. You teaching them how to gang gang, but you ain't teaching them how to survive in the penitentiary. Girl, that's a whole nother ball game. A whole nother level of stuff. Your son was a thug out here, but in there he said, my honey, honey. That's the whole, you don't want that for your children? If you can't do it for yourself, man, you have to do it for these kids. You know you're not a good father. Then take the steps to do what you need to do to be a better one. You know you didn't like it when your daddy wasn't there. You know how that made you feel. You know. But then you do it all over to your own child. At some point, something has to change. And the mayor can't do this. This is something we have to do. These are our children, not the mayors. Not the mayors. These children are taught, oh my Lord, out of line. And I know it's not, them. they were taught this behavior. You got uncles getting high with your nieces and your nephews. They not even old enough. I ain't ever gave nobody no drugs. That, no. Because I wouldn't want nobody to do that to my children. It's some, it, it, it just ruffles my feathers, good people, because it's so sad. It's so sad. I'm like, this gener that generation is going to be extinct. They even in jail or somebody got a birdie child. Oh, what? A neighborhood that nobody own, my, own a home in? I'm riding for mine. You willing to put your son on the line for what? This? We don't even own none of this stuff. We don't own none of this stuff the hood way because you got to be down. You got to be down. I'm from the streets. I ain't in the streets no more. And I ain't nobody sucking. I ain't talking about on some street level stuff because I'm, I'm a lot wiser now, thanks to God. I was a whole fool and didn't even know it because my environment made me believe that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. It didn't make sense. I'm like, everything that the street teach me either send me to hell or jail. But I'm going to be down. For what? Down for what? For, for my children? Every, no. My children can't be my best friend. They're my children. They're my children. I'm not telling my children stuff that I tell my home, my bestie. No. That's nasty. That ain't even right. That don't even know. The fact that you... Uh, friends with somebody that young just behooves me. <laughs> I'm like, what is the conversation like? I'm like, really? You know, I ain't supposed to shop at iron. I don't know how a three-year-old shopping in you in this relationship. I'm just saying, make it make sense. You want your daughter to be so grown so fast, and then now she's 16 with her only fans page. It ain't all about the bag, honey. It ain't all about the bag. Because you, as we can see, all them famous people who killed themselves who was millionaires. So money ain't everything. It helped pay your bills. It helped uh, get you to travel and stuff. Like, it helped you have a better life as far as traveling and, you know, paying your bills and stuff. But, honey, it don't do nothing for the inside. Money don't fix that. You have to put in the work for that. It's so many resources out here. How I know? Because it's my job. I have to find these things for people. That helps people become, take them to, you know, out of a, a place that they're in and help them transition to another place. We, we look for so many people to make our situation right. When the person that can do that is you. You have to put in the work. The, the energy you put into destroying and dis, uh, or destroying uh, and uh, uh, condoning your children to be destructive. Put that energy into becoming a better mom. A better, a better uh, example. You know, because it, I can say that I tell my children don't drink and don't smoke. Ain't that what you do? 
it's nine times out of ten when somebody tell a story, they gonna tell you what they saw their mama do, what they seen their daddy do. They not really giving up quotes. My mama used to, my daddy used to, you know, they not giving up quotes. We made it okay. We made it okay. We fell for the t a banana in the tailpipe too long. Too many people have been exposing the truth and what's really going on in the setup. But we just keep falling for it. It don't make sense. These are our children's life. I estate good people. I do not want to bury my child. Lord knows I do not want to bury my children. No, I do not. They they make a lot of decisions on their own. They both are grown. However, it is some stuff. I will intercede on. And I know they don't like it. But ask me, do I care? Because I know my purpose is bigger than what they designed to do. They don't know. And I know they have to go through things, but this ain't what they should be going through. Current guns. You don't even have a job. You let your children come home with stuff that, that you didn't buy for them. He's 14. How you got all this stuff? He's a little klepto and you cool with that? Because it keep money in your pocket? Nah, come on, man. Come on, man. I, I, I take my head off when I walk into certain places and I watch these little boys. They working and they trying to do something productive for themselves. In spite of the hardships that they going through. I think that's truly, truly a blessing. I'm sorry. I got, I posted, I have a whole Zoom. I'm supposed to be on at 10 o'clock. But um, I just, I wanted to come in and express my thoughts and feelings about that. Good people. Um, we have to do better. That's the only way things is going to change. According to uh, the Bible, biblically, it's going to get worse. It, it's going to get worse. But some things can be saved. And if you, if you, if it's your children, these children should be one of those things, man. They really should, man. These kids, they, it, it just breaks my heart that this is what it has come to. Neighborhood killing has always been a thing. It got to the point where these children, are, and we help them glorify it. We help them glorify it, man. No. It's not cool. My son, and I would not have ever let my son and my daughter fight each other. I had a conversation with a woman where she had to call the police on her sons. They almost beat each other to death. Brothers. I'm like, what? I'm like, girl, she like, girl, I don't got time for these kids. But you had time to make them, though. You had time to make them, and that's not fair to these children. It's not fair. You don't have to like what I say. You don't have to agree with what I say. I, I'm staying at 10 toes on that. It's not these children's fault. Oh, they know right from wrong. Not when somebody teach them wrong is right. Not when somebody teaching them that wrong is right. These children did not ask to be this way. They did not come out the womb or like, oh, this is just what it's going to be. They were taught it. Enabling them because you you you're not you you don't feel like the hassle, but all the hassle you gave his funky father, all the stuff you you can tell a story about that. I went through hell with this nigga. I went through hell. I took all this from him, but you won't even do none of that for your own child. What that say about you? I'm just saying, make it make sense. I hear stories every day about how they put all this energy into these no good dudes. It's just what I'm, I mean, it's just what it is. We put all this energy into these dudes, but when it comes to these children, I ain't got time. I'm going to send them to a program. I'm a, you programmed them that way. I shared a story in an old video of mine about a woman who uh, has a baby, has multiple children, and all her children got different fathers. All her children were born with drugs in their system, right? So, she meets God, change her life around, bless her heart. However, now she drags the father because she feels that she's clean so she's the better parent. But all her children are out of control. So, now she want to get rid of all her children because she feel like she ain't got time and she trying to get her life together. I'm like, but you was the one who jacked their life up. How fair is that when them children stuck and was faithful to you and patient with you in the midst of your nonsense, loved you through it all, through it all. You in there high, Cootie Brown, they still like, that's my mama. 
But now, you sober. Oh, I ain't got time to fix what I made wrong. That is so selfish of you. So selfish of you. These children did not ask to be here. They did not. I still have to put in work as an, a mother of adult children. I still have to show up in a way that I wasn't prior to. And it is hard, but it's worth it. Because I need my children to see that the way that they saw me going is not the way. It's not the way. And I don't have to drill it in their head. I have to show them. I have to uh, show them, show up for them. I have to show up for them in ways that they don't like. I'm grown. I could, no, 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 you grown, but this is not a wise decision. How I know? Because this is the consequences of this. I don't want to hear her mouth when she had to hear my, she had to hear my nonsense and she going to hear my mouth. You know, I, I don't, I'm not tripping off that. When I can't see out of eye with my daughter, I get off the phone. I get off the phone. I'm not going to do what I normally do. Pull up and knock her teeth out of her mouth. But I don't do that no more. <laughs> she grown, so you can't call child sex stories on me now. <laughs> so I don't care. But um, it's, I, I mean, for, seriously, good people. I just, I, I, um, I, I just, I really hope and pray that somebody get inspired to want to do more or change a situation around. It is resources that can help you become a stronger and more aware parent and, and help you with your children. And it's resources that you can be put in situations that you don't have to stay in those environments. And they not, may not going to like it, but the same way that you fought in this and that to be with his daddy is the same way you should fight to have a better life for your child. If he ain't going to like it, she not going to like it in the beginning. When I moved out the hood, moved out the, uh, uh, moved out of Southeast, my son really wasn't feeling it. Because that's all we've been living. We've been living in Southeast his whole being at that time. He wasn't feeling it. But now, you really, really seldom might catch him on that side. Because it, it, it took a struggle. He was like, I don't like it in here. Da, 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 da. I'm like, change is not easy for some people. But then I had to show him what the difference was. The consequences of this is this. If one more person break into my house, somebody going to kill me or I'm going to kill somebody's child. That was my mindset. So that's why I said I know it was time for me to go. Because now I'm contemplating on hurting somebody's child over stuff. Because that's how I was raised. But I, I, I'm, I was in a process of still trying to evolve out of that. But I was like, it's time for me to go. Because this, this is not it. And I had to make some sacrifices. And the sacrifices are worth my life and my child's life. My, well, when my daughter, she on her own. Um, work, it, ugh, the sacrifice is worth it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you have to do that. Being too prideful and struggling, I ain't putting my baby father on child support because I ain't begging no man to do nothing. You didn't have that baby by itself. If he don't want to comply and help you with this child, and I ain't talking about no petty stuff. If he ain't trying to help you with this child, then you got to do what you got to do for your child. My daughter father was on child support and we was together. You will take care of me, but you ain't going to take care of her. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I know somebody who'll help you do it. I know somebody who'll help you do it. You could call me petty. You could call me whatever. I'm looking out for my child. This ain't about you. This is about our child. And the fact that I got to take these measures speaks volumes about you. But some women do do being petty, but that's another story. Not on this video. This video, I just wanted to come to uh, d shed some light on the situation with these children losing their lives out here, y'all. Something has to give. And that something has to be you. You have to do better as a father. As a mother, your child life depends on it. It's not cool. It's not cool to have your children in the house with all them guns. And you know he's trapping out the house. And they walking in with ATM machines. And you can smell a gunpowder on him. And you know he's driving around in a car. But he ain't got a car. He ain't got a job. He, how did he get this car? You cool with that. You'd have been in a car. You didn't let him take you to the grocery store. Save me money for Uber. No, but it may cost him his life. It's these kids' future, good people. It's their future. It's, it's, it shouldn't be this way. It, it doesn't have to be this way. You just have to snap out of it. These are your children, not the mayor's. Not, it's not the mayor's job. It's your job. It's your job. It's your job. 
Real talk, good people. But I gotta go because I'm super late for my own 10 o'clock meeting. I'm telling you, I'm like, Lord have mercy. I, I, I truly, truly, truly pray for these children. I pray my heart and my prayers are comfort out with anybody who had to bury somebody from the streets killing. This stuff is ridiculous. People are losing their life for nothing. These children are so disrespectful. But if that woman on the bus would have whipped out and slit one of them kids' throat, they mother would have been so angry that she had to bury her child. And I know you saw the video. Because I know one of your homegirls is somebody like, girl, that's your son, little Mike, right there, girl, look. I, I look at him. He's just acting like, just like his father. But yet they beating this woman like she was a runaway slave. If she would have whipped out and slit one of their throats. Mm. We got to do better, good people. We got to do better. Real talk. We got to do better. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. It's just sad. God, it's just sad. I pray that somebody uh, decides to get inspired to do better with their children. And putting weave in these babies' head, making these little girls look growner than they are. I don't know five year old need no whole full set. She's a freaking kid. A kid. But no, everybody want their child to be the Instagram little baby doll and all that. Honey, trust me, it's consequences to this stuff. You you looking at people posts, you better read between the lines, honey. It's consequences to this stuff. Ask yourself, what I'm doing now, what are the pros and cons to this? What what is the outcome if I keep dressing my daughter like she grown? What, what I wonder how this gonna turn out. Ask yourself. If not, go ask somebody who already been there and done that. And see what they tell you what happened to their daughter. It's real, man. This stuff is real. These children's lives depend on us, man. We have to do better. My Lord, we have to do better. God bless y'all good people. It, it feels good to be back, though. <laughs> so, I, I, it really do. Because I, I just, I, I mean, I just, I be, I be real passionate about stuff. Y'all know this. For those who watch my videos in the past, y'all know this. I get real passionate about stuff. Because I truly, genuinely care. I, I genuinely care. I really, really do. I truly, truly do. I'm not a perfect person by far, honey. By far. But I'm telling you, to be a better person, you have to acknowledge what is wrong in the first place. And be willing to put in the work to get it right in the second place. God bless y'all good people. Until the next time. Peace.